today Harlow is doing a skinny grid jumping challenge. So lots of jumps, it's all behind very us, skinny, thanks. and you've got to be super accurate. Yeah, it's all behind us and it already looks a bit, not yeah. scary, but just, I've never done something like this before. Right, so we, should we get into it? Yeah. Okay. Right, let's get you on. So today, Nina is using all jumps from poly jumps, so all the poles and the little jump blocks, which is what we use as well. We love poly jumps. And they have kindly sent us to the two at the back, the burgundy ones. Okay, Harlow, so let's walk over the poles to start with. So they're so much more narrow than a normal pole. So we need to make sure that Popcorn has seen them and understands what he has to do. That he has to go between the two blocks and not go out to the side. Keep a little bit more energy in that walk. So he's allowed to have a look, that's fine, but he's got to just keep moving forwards all the time. That's good. Well done. Very good. So keep aiming for that white part in the middle. And then once you get to the end, you're going to just change the rein with him, start to pick up your reins, and then let's come through and trot this next time. Good girl. So keep him straight. A little bit more forward. That's it. Well done. Very good. Okay, let's come down in canter then next time. Just let him sort the striding out. Good. Very, very good. Well done. That's fine. Give him a pat. Let him have a little breather. So Harlow, I'm now going to take all these other poles away and we're just going to leave the first one that we're going to build to a, a jump, okay? Three things for you to remember. Number one, having a really good canter, okay? Nice and energetic canter for jumping. Number two, riding a really, really good turn. So it's even more important now that your turns are correct. So you need to use all of the space that you have on the turn. Make sure that you give him trying to use as much of the center line as you can so he's got as much time to see the fence. And number three, stay straight. Good shot. Good girl, well done. Inside hand, outside leg, turning, looking your head. That's good girl, turning your head, looking. Good, brilliant. Okay, super. Well, somebody's woken up a little bit, haven't they? <laughs> Okay, so Harlow, I'm going to put a pole now where I think the next fence might be. Okay, so what we don't ever do when we're doing grid work is just build four or five fences in a line. We need to make sure that we build it very gradually. And I like to just, especially with something like this, because it's already very difficult that it's such a narrow fence, I want to make sure that the fence is roughly in the right place before I go building it. So we just put a pole there. So if he makes a mistake and it's a pole on the ground, that's much more forgiving than it is if, he, if I get it wrong and he makes a mistake at a fence that I've already built. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so keep riding forward. Good shot. That's nice, brilliant, okay. Little breather, let me build this. So because it's already quite difficult, I like to put something on the floor, like a ground line for him, so he yeah. can just judge the fence a so little bit easier. So is that two strides or one? One stride. Perfect. And then we'll just check that we're still straight. Yes, okay. So sit back, keep bringing his shoulder round. Right forward. Oh, well sat. Good girl. So I just think he hadn't expected that to go yeah. up. Turn your body, keep riding forward. Good shot. Very, very good. Well done. Good job. Give him a pat. Good boy. Well done. Okay. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that another couple of times then. Legs on. Good, very, very good. Keep going to the right now. So make sure, Harlow, that he isn't distracted by the pole that's now on the floor and it takes his... Oh, we're not... <laughs> good girl. I had my back to you. I thought you were going to canter a circle, Harlow. <laughs> Come again. I didn't see any of that. I was just talking to myself. <laughs> okay. You were like looking away. <laughs> right, let's go again. 
Energy into the corner, inside leg, outside hand, turn your shoulders right forward. Go. Legs on. Okay, good girl. So this distance just needs to be a little bit shorter. Yeah. He's just reaching a little bit too much for it. Okay. A couple of times now, when you ride a particular line, it brings you to slightly the wrong place to the first fence, okay? So what you need to do is remember the approach that you took, yeah. remember the canter that you had, and if it isn't perfect, either change your approach just a little bit or change your canter a little bit. So one of those things needs to change to change the result into that first fence, okay. or to change the outcome, okay? Let's go again. So. I think his canter is just a little bit, um, a little bit slow. It just needs to be just a little bit more active, a bit more energetic. So ride forwards. Good girl. Well done. Keep riding. Very good. Much, much better. So again, still not perfect into that first line, yeah. that first uh, fence, sorry. So you just need to just keep working on just changing your line. So you either need to ride yeah. even more into the corner or take about half a metre off of the, the, the yeah. turn. So. The, the only thing is, is he knows what he's doing now. So, he's so like, he starts to anticipate the turn. Yeah. So Harlow, do they feel really skinny when you're going over them? Yeah, because sometimes when I'm like at competitions and I'm jumping quite long, wide fences, yeah. I kind of chicken ah. wings el my elbows out a bit. So it makes then, you not have chicken wings. But then now wings. I'm like, I suck my legs in and then I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> really got to squeeze yeah. in to get in between them. Like I go like... <laughs> <laughs> you did a brilliant job. He was such a good boy, wasn't he? He's been an amazing... He's an amazing I'm, I'm boy. I'm quite sweaty, so I think I'm going to take my jumper off now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yep. I think we might need to give Pokemon a bit of a bath. I think we might He's need to just, gonna be yes. probably going to be so sweaty. Absolutely. Like this morning it was all grey and all miserable and, and it was now. raining and now it's like... Beautiful. Ah! It's Beautiful. Heat it's too warm, isn't it? I know. Yeah. All right. Can we take him off and give him a wash off then? Yeah. I'm so excited for the session with Cloudy now because... I don't know what we're going to do. Has Cloudy done pole work before? He's, he, he's just gone over poles in walk and okay. he's, he's like... Oh, is he? He's yeah, very he, careful. He's very, very careful okay. and aware of what's on the floor. Okay. All right, we'll have to see what we can come up with to challenge Cloudy next then. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever had a Shetland in your pole work classes? I have had one. Have you? One Shetland, yes. Only? W only one ever Shetland, yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. So Cloudy will be my, my second ever. <laughs> <laughs> My second ever Shetlands. Good boy. He was such a good boy, Popcorn. So that was probably one of the best sh sessions or jumping sessions I've ever done with Popcorn because even though he did refuse once and then he, he started bronking after for about 10 seconds, that's okay. That's in the past, isn't it? Also, I love the Lemieux boots because they look really cotton candy-like. Yes, you'd be tired now. He's like, I'm done. I'm sweaty. I'm hot. I need some carrots. <laughs> he saw me get the carrots and he's like, why are you putting my carrots? Yeah, I'm going to have them in a minute. I just wanted to get your saddle and your bridle off. Oh my goodness.
popcorn. See, we might need to give me a little bath. Popcorn. Oh, he's worked so hard today. Oh, it's only this once I'm going to let you do this because one, I can't say no because I've got both my arms on this saddle. And two, you've been such a good boy. But now you've made my arm filthy. Do, 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 do. Smile. Smile. Oh, yes. He's like, I can't do a full smile. I'm too tired. You gotta bite it. Good boy. I'm, I'm trying to teach him to like actually bite it instead of going like. Bite it. Bite it. Good boy. I've had two amazing sessions with Nina and now and I'm just so excited for the next one. Okay, is he allowed to have that hole, Mum? Yeah, just be careful. Good boy. Bite it. Good boy. Sometimes he just hangs on to it and he's like... And he won't, he won't like physically bite it and I'm like, Bogo, you got to bite it. And he's like, no, I want the whole carrot. Bite it. Bite it. Good boy. Popcorn is having two days off now because he has had such a busy weekend. Now you're going to try and snoop in the stuff to see if there's any more carrots in there. This is what he does. He thinks, wait, is there actually more treats? Oh, there actually is. I thought I took them all out, but there actually is more. No, they're cookies. They're cookies. No. I'm removing all the food from the bin. He's like, but there's a knifey bin. There's no more. No more treats. Popcorn, no more. This is fly repellent. And you've got your... This is absolutely hilarious. I'm going to show you what he looks like with this on. He looks hilarious and he's so funny. <laughs> right, just trust me in the process because I'm not going to put in this thing on, but... <laughs> he looks like a bug. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> He looks like a ninja. Oh, sorry, popcorn, I'm gonna get your ears through. Sorry, you look, just look so cute. <laughs> so, too, that popcorn's tired. <laughs> oh, look at his middle. Should we get your full look through? Ta da! This is not Popcorn's best look, but it is ready for the field, protected from the flies look. And it's good because it's like skin tight. So, well not really tight, but it's tight enough that flies can't get through. And then it's loose enough that it's not going to block his airways. So, but the only problem is, it's so hard to find him a fly thing that doesn't actually like it's too tight on his eyes because we've had ones and his eyelashes are literally poking through and it looks like you got a little popcorn spikes out of your eyes. So yeah, also he's got a really big beard. We need to give you a little bit of a shave again, don't we? Right, I'm gonna sort him out now guys for the field. I'm probably just gonna turn him out naked just with a load of fly spray on. So a massive thank you to everyone who's watched today's vlog. Um, and a huge, huge thank you to Nina for making these amazing exercises because mum, no offense, but you would have never done this. Also, I had a really, really fun time jumping these today because it's good because it's also safety where, wait, let me just take this one down. If you jump it like, so, and then you can't, that's, this is a safety rule. And then you can't, if your horse was to go like, wee, it would knock the whole thing down. So you've got to make sure you, you're facing it the right way. But that is an amazing safety feature. And that is also why I love poly jumps because yeah, and all, they also made it, so it's easy for the pole to slide off, but they didn't make it flat. So like, if there's a lot of wind, the pole doesn't just go like, wee. It's got like a bit of a dig, but it's still really easy to slide off. But yeah, I need to put these back now. But thank you all so much for watching today's vlog and we will see you soon. Bye.